this is part three, Math 186 students. And we were on page 178 and 179. And I wanted to do at least two problems to, to kind of get you on the right track, to make sure you're on the right track as far as your homework assignment, because this is the actual pages of your homework. So let me at least do one or two with you. And you can also go back to the actual practice problems. That should help you as well. Let me line that up perfectly. Okay, just in case you need to stop and start the video. So for number one, on the actual homework assignment, it says give 0 0.002, which is what? How would you read that? Tenths, hundreds, thousands. Give two thousandths gram of a drug im stands for intermuscularly okay all right in the muscle all right per day for five days for severe intestinal malabsorption okay the injection is on hand as 1.0 milligrams per milliliter the nurse should give how many milliliters a day for five days Okay, so let me go to over here. So this is the actual homework assignment. So on number one, I'm looking at number one. It says uh, 0 0.002 grams of a drug. And I'm also looking at the 1.0 milligrams per milliliter. So I hope you guys are following along with me. So here, what I need to first do is I need to convert. I'm looking for a little piece of scratch paper. I need to convert the 0 0.002. Make sure I have enough zeros here. Grams. I need to convert that first to an actual milligram. So one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. Okay, we're setting up our proportion. We're converting the grams into milligrams. So since they gave me 0 0.002 grams goes here, you're gonna match your units over X. I want to cross multiply. So one gram times X equals, I want to multiply 0 0.002 times 1,000 which gives me two. So two milligrams times grams. You wanna make sure you always write the grams. Don't shortcut cut it for me. Make sure you give me all of the steps. So that gives me two milligrams, okay? So I have so far so good. Now I know that I have, I'm going to, I've converted my 0 0.002 grams to two milligrams, okay? So now I need to place the 1.0 milligrams per milliliter. You're going to stack that on top of each other like a proportion. If you say, well, Miss Thomas, I don't see a number. It's automatically a one. When you see the word per, it's one milliliter. So 1.0 milligram okay, per one milliliter, even though they did not have the one, the one is understood. So you're gonna have to write the one yourself. And what you're doing is you're substituting in your answer. Okay, so I'm going here with the milligrams and I wanna cross multiply. Okay, so 1.0 times milligrams, all right, times X, all of that goes together. One times two is two milligrams times milliliter. Okay, we wanna divide both sides by one. Improvising, 1.0 milligrams on both sides, 1.0 milligrams. So we wanna cancel out and see what measurement unit we have left, which is milliliter, okay? Well, of course, two divided by 1.0 is two, okay? So your answer is 
two milliliters is your answer. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Let's try number two. I don't want to do all of your homework problems for you, but I did want to at least do one or two with you so that um, you will understand. So let me allow you to at least look at number two, kind of digest number two. Just making sure I'm making sure I'm zooming in so that you will know exactly what you need. Okay, all right. For number two, all right, it says give 60 milligrams of a diuretic, okay, I am intramuscularly, in three equal divided doses every eight hours for two days. They're three equally. Divided dose is going to come in handy. You're going to need that. The drug is available for injection as 10 milligrams per one milliliter. The nurse should give how many milliliters every eight hours? Let's start. Well, let me look at the units. Milligram to milligram. Perfect. I don't have to convert. This was grams, milligrams. They don't match. That's the problem. You need, if this was milligrams, you'll be able to just uh, use the proportion method. This is what we call matching units. So let, I'm gonna start off with this part that they gave me. The 10 milligrams per one milliliter. I want you to stack that on top of each other, meaning like a proportion. So 10 milligrams per, when you see milliliter and it doesn't have a number in front, I want you to write the number one in front. Okay, next we're going to what we were given, which is 60 milligrams. Remember, you wanna make sure that if you have the milligrams here at the top or the numerator spot, you wanna put it in the numerator. So, you know, when you have a fraction, you have a numerator and a denominator. So this is the top, the top are called numerators and your bottom numbers are called denominators. All right, so put that over X, we want to cross multiply. So 10 milligrams times X, you want to multiply one times 60 is 60 milligrams times milliliter. So your last step is you want to isolate the variable. We want to divide both sides by 10 milligrams. Okay, we're going to cancel those out, cancel. So the only thing we're going to have left is of course the milliliter. 60 divided by 10 is six. But let me go back to the question, okay? Give 60 milligrams of the diuretic into the muscle, okay, in three equally divided doses. So I want you to take that number and divide it by three equal doses. You should give the patient two milliliters, okay? Six milliliters, it will overdose the patient. It's too many milliliters. Three equally divided doses is what it says. Okay, so that answer is two milliliters. So let me make sure you can see all of it just in case you need to stop the video and inquire and look. Students, I hope that has helped you with chapter nine. Okay. You also need to do page 180, 181, and 182. I'm sure you have the textbook, but I just wanted to make sure. So have a great day, students.